After almost being entirely eradicated from North America, measles is back in the news because of an outbreak at Disneyland in the US and a number of reported and confirmed cases in Canada. But what actually is the virus? Measles is a disease that usually infects children and its sufferers have flu-like symptoms like a cough, a runny nose, a fever, but it's best known for the red blotchy rash that starts on sufferers' faces and drifts downwards. Some people also get a white bumpy rash on the inside of their mouth through their tongue. Now, measles is so contagious that in an unvaccinated population, one carrier could infect 12 to 18 other people. Contrast that with your typical seasonal flu, which usually only gets passed on to two or three other people. That's why it was such a big deal when they first discovered a measles vaccine in 1954. But it took until 1963 for mass immunization efforts to take hold in both the US and Canada. But since then, measles rates have declined by as much as 99%, according to some public health officials. So much so that in 1998, Canada was declared measles free, which means the disease is no longer endemic to Canada, meaning it's not being passed from person to person here, but being brought in by visitors or brought back by returning Canadians. In the year 2000, the US declared the same thing. But in the decade and a half since, a debate has started raging over the safety of some of these vaccines. Vaccines. The so-called anti-vaxxer movement claims that the measles vaccine and several others it's associated with cause other childhood ailments such as autism. There's no scientific basis for this, but what there is scientific proof of is an increase in measles cases in both the US and Canada. For example, in 2004, just 37 people in the US had confirmed cases of measles. In 2014, that rose to 664. Public health officials blame anti-vaxxing claims. In Canada last year, over 220 people were affected in one outbreak in the Fraser Valley alone. Again, public health officials attributed that to anti-vaxxer claims. What does this mean? Measles, a disease first identified in the 9th century by a Persian doctor, will continue to be a public relations minefield and a medical battle well into the 21st century. I'm Ashley Chinati for The National Post.